Hey folks, how you doing? Cat Mark here. Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors, sponsored by, yeah, JNHTackle.com. All right, today's episode, what we're doing, we're going out there with the Phoenix Rods, the Acura Reels. And what we're doing, we're trying to target some striped bass. But what happens? This is what happens. Fish on. Think it's Spanish? You did talk. You did talk a lot about those perch. Not a, lot of them, all of them. a lemming? <laughs> I think it's about eleven foot dog fish. But he took off so fast with it. Probably is a dog, but. Oh my! Those are my lights. Caller. What the hell is that? Big dog. Damn. Who's that? That thing's lives. Bail on that thing. Just want to turn it off. I know Hunter, he's handled many, many dogfish in his day. Right? I've had him out since he's four years old, for goodness sakes. All right? This isn't exactly how I taught him how to do it, but this is his own technique. <laughs> What's a lot bigger in the water? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who in their right mind was straddle a shark? Straddling a, uh, it's no bueno, all right? All right, as he's doing that, he's got that fish pinned on the ground. Another rod goes off. There goes Greg with another fish. Rod, real. I'm going to see if you can try. get under you. Shit. Oh, he's so strong. Craig, what do you got huh? there? What is that? Another one. Jeez, we're being attacked by dogs! Yeah, hold that, hold the tail. Bar. Got him? Yeah. Shit. That's a shame, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's a tuna wrangler. Yeah. He's a tuna wrangler. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, 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 man. I gotta do Greg's. He's going for me. He's going for me. Yeah. And right, what's he gonna do? Mouth you? Alright, for those who don't know much about dogfish, dogfish have no teeth, alright? They're basically like, uh, whatever. Alright? I'm not gonna put a picture of some psycho with no teeth. Maybe I will. Check it out right there. Never mind. But they will smack you the mommy daddy button if you're not paying attention, just like this. And like this. And like this. Alright? So be careful. Don't. Straddle a dogfish or any type of shark, all right? Okay, so dash. Here's a little unknown secret for you. That's why they call them dogfish because these fish they resemble a dog pack when they're out feeding. And that's how they got their name dogfish. That's truthful, all right? I don't know if you guys want to Wikipedia that thing or Google it. Do the Google on that. But that's it. These fish come out there and they just start eating, all right? We were getting fish after fish after fish. We knew our bait was right, all right? We, we, uh, we're fishing fresh bunker right now. Matter of fact, let's shoot over to where we got that right now. Phil over at Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. Phil, take it over. I want to show him what you, uh, what do you mean by fresh bait? Most important thing about fresh bunker, hey, is making sure it's fresh. We have the perfect nice slime on it. You can still tell. Nice clear the eyes. eyes. The eyes are the most important thing right there, and the slime coats. What's going to catch those fish? There right? you go. Fresh daily, dollar cash, dollar fifty credit. Eighty-one West Fort Salonga Road, Northport, New York, at Britannia Marina. You come over here, get your fresh bait over at Cal Harbor. Later, boys. This is the shop. So we caught, I mean, this bait's going in. Once that bait goes down, we're on the fish. I mean, these dogfish were off the hook, all right? So much so that when they were, when they just kept biting us, we were out there trying to catch striped bass. They kept freaking attacking our baits. Yeah, we, we brought some on the deck to have fun. But we de-hooked 90% of those fish. We just used the de-hooker over your goes, and we are using circle hooks. So we weren't really hurting these fish, but I don't know why Hunter felt it was these guys never saw dogfish before, so he wanted to bring a couple on the boat to show them, all right? That's it. No fish were harmed in the uh, filming of this boat, except for the one that uh, you'll be seeing coming up at the end of the video, right? But that's just gotta happen, all right? Because what happened, we're out there fishing so long, I'm like, dang it, I've never eaten one of these things. I know Elias, my boy, has, and uh, he says it was all right. I saw a recipe from the UK, 
we'll get to that. We're gonna go over there, take one of these things. I harvested immediately, did exactly what we were supposed to do, filleted, brought the fish back here and really tightened it up at the, at the, at the house, all right? Yeah, so about 28 inch bass right now. Nope. Going. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at my leg. Well played, Luke. Kill me. Open that bail on that hunter. I must get with you grabbing up the tail there. Alright. Look a lot. That right there was atrocious. Multiple fish in three oh. seconds. There's another one. Just... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the way this guy's going. The man in the striped suit is eluding us. But these other guys, we uh, throwing back dogfish. Hi folks, now we're going kind of shout outs right now. We got Chelsea Maffa sending a picture of a dad right here. Where is he, where is he? There he is right there. But let's put it up on the big screen. In fact, we'll throw it right up here. That is right there, that is Hank Maffa, retired Jersey captain. How you doing? A couple of bars upstairs. How you doing, Cap? Uh, he's going to be the kind of shadow of the day. All right? Right there. Nice large mouth bass. Got to love it. Guy's jacked up right now. I'm pretty strong. But on that note, you know, I was doing a couple of feature films back in the day, and uh, one of the brothers reaches out to me and says, Hey, get out of dash. So uh, we finally found your stunt double. I'm like, all right. And it just so happens that the second kind of shout out is going to be my stunt double. You know, it's difficult when you find... You know, you have to have, obviously, when you're in the film business, you need somebody who's like basically identical to you. So let's go to con shout-out number two. There he is, my stunt double, Ness, right now. Just a hair, a little bigger in my right arm. And well, it's not that, but it's almost a spinning image, all right? Who cares? He's a con shout-out right there. He's jacked up. The guy's got more definition than Webster, for goodness sakes. And he's another con shout-out of the week, all right? So today's con shout-outs are the guns of Navarone. What? All right, now what are we doing? I'm gonna go into a plug right now, all right? What am I gonna do? I got these things, right? I'm out in Montauk with uh, Tex, right? Every couple of minutes, he's taking a five gallon bucket, so I don't have a wash down with boy. He's freaking washing the deck down. I got my shoes on, and my shoes are soaking wet, right? So I'm like, dang, son. Back in the day, Chloe from A Leader reached out to me and says, hey, I got some uh, shoes that you might wanna try and show your audience, all right? There they are. I'm got them on right now, as a matter of fact. I swear I've been wearing these things for days. These things are a feather. The insole comes out, you can wash it. Doesn't stink like the like when you have the other ones on. Very airy. Look at that right there. We're gonna show you a little bit. I'll go to the website right now. But the cool thing about these things, but I am pulling these things, trying to pull these things apart. Wore them for three days. I can't screw them up. They got toe, you know, reinforced toe here. Freaking laser feather. And what's cool about them, they freaking dry in a matter of seconds. It seems like. All right. So you're not walking around all day with wet feet. So a leader. I'm going to give you the website. What's cool about it, Chloe reached out to me and says, hey, put Kid Cochise 15 in the uh, discount stuff. They'll give you 15% off, all right? Any shoe in the leader. So look at these shoes here right now. Blue ones, for $29. Take 15% off there, you're paying nothing, all right? Just put Kid Cochise 15 on there. Reach out to A-Leader. That's A-Leader's logo, and this is their website, all right? So go up there. When you're checking out, just make sure you put Kid Coat Cheese 15 in there, and then you get 15% off, all right? Just the con does, all right? But they're cool. They're really cool shoes. I've been wearing them for three days, thinking they're going to hurt my feet, but they're damn cherry vanilla. I really have no complaints with them. You guys check them out. Tell me what you think. Again, uh, I, I like them, man. I'm telling you, I just, I can't pull these things apart. I was trying to, I think they're trying to, you know, see if they were garbage, because I was telling Chloe, oh, Chloe, if they're garbage, I ain't showing anybody these things. But they ain't garbage, man. I'm telling you, they're legit as legit. I mean, again, I've only had them for a couple of weeks. So uh, Chloe sent a pair for me and for Mrs. Kid, all right? So she's wearing them right now, and I'm wearing them right now. I wore them for the last three days. Whatever. I'm going way too long on this, all right? A liter, get your shoes. 15% off for the kid, all right? Now let's go into this catch and cook right now that I feel a little goofy about doing, but let's go for it. All right, folks, so here it is, my nightmare catch and cook. This is 
the dogfish right now. Just killed all the red meat off. I'm really particular about making sure this meat cherry vanilla. All right, uh, all the red meat. That's where the uh, that's where the bad stuff is. You know, I usually contained in the red meat. So basically, what I did is here. I initially right out of the gates, I uh, filleted that fish. I gutted it, skinned it, and took the fillets off. And I brought it back home to do a much better cleanup job on the fillets. As you can see here, I'm very very meticulous about what product I'm putting out here. All white meat, no shenanigans, and uh, basically what I'm trying to do is just do a fish fry, like a fish and chips, all right? So now I'm throwing a little Old Bay. I throw Old Bay on all my fish. So I'm hitting it with Old Bay both sides, a little salt and the old school pepper. I feel like a, uh, a waiter at an Italian restaurant right here. How you doing? And yes, ladies and gentlemen, those are my pirate pajamas I'm wearing right now. I did not realize I filmed myself in my pajamas, but we'll have to get over that right now. I really don't care, all right? Covering these bad boys up into the fridge, they're going to go, all right? Boom, how you doing, ladies? Out with the flour. This is the uh, UK thing. All right, I don't measure flour. I just looked at it and said, yeah, it looks cool. This is baking powder. It's supposed to be a teaspoon. Got a little out of control there, but it's not a big deal. I'm not a scientist. I'm not making crystal meth either, right? So it doesn't have to be that particular. That could be my fault right there. I put a dark beer in. I didn't want to put a wheat beer in there, so I put a dark beer in. Uh, whisked the batter, made a batter, like, you know, you know what the deal is, all right? That's the consistency of it. Obviously, I'm using my, I watch YouTube about cooking, always lay the fillets away from you so you don't spray yourself with oil. And then I cook them. I make sure they're cooked through and through. After they go, on paper towels where you could let them uh, just kind of delete all that grease if you can, push it down, get the grease off as best you can. Mrs. Kitty right now, cherry vanilla, potato salad, and macaroni salad. That's it. That's the dish right there. I'm gonna say hello with a little lemon on it, and we give it a go. Here she goes. What do you think? <coughs> really? <laughs> what do you think? The last dog fish to be cooked in this house, or? Yeah. It's Trap. fine, but it's the consistency. No, the fish, the consistency is just, it's a good white meat. Yeah, but it's rubbery. It's a dog's head. Good. Try it. I guess. I mean, You'll yeah. eat it because it's white meat. Oh, it is. It's not bad. I mean. It's edible. It's a psychological issue of it's eating dog fish. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I saw what they were. Psychological. Alright, so that's it. The white meat. Mm. Will I cook and catch one of these again? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I think I can't even understand what this tastes like. It's got a weird tang to it. Yeah. I don't know. The guy on the in the UK, it looked good. When he made it, followed his directions and his uh, his recipe. That's why the UK is the second world power. And we're the first. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Brush your hair. I will eat this because I don't want to waste it. And my wife's a terrible cameraman. She's low. Go high. There you go. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching Pico Cheese Outdoors. The other stuff is very good. The potato salad and her macaroni is health. excellent. The dogfish. <sighs> I don't know. You have to do it. Try to catch and cook. That's why I don't do catch and cooks. Of course they're goofy. Why didn't you catch a striped bass? What? That's enough of that. Cut. Well, that's the story of my life. No respect. Don't get no respect. Hey folks, thanks for watching Kid Coat Cheese Outdoors. The reason I didn't catch a striped bass is because I couldn't that day, darn it. Consider subscribing below and uh, like if you like, alright? Don't forget to go to eLeaderGear.com. Get you a discount at Kid Coat Cheese 15, baby. Shaggy these and thanks for watching. Until next time.